Salutations. Um, so I got a Facebook update, uh, like notification recently um, concerning a launch control touch signer component I built apparently three years ago. Um, I still use it, but I haven't like, you know, it, it was a bit like of a black box for me returning to the project. So I thought I'd clean it up so I could post it online and it would be helpful to the community at large. So um, yeah, so here's how you would use it. So first of all, you want to make sure that you have your launch control. Here it is, bam, bam. Uh, launch control, and you set it to the factory settings. So don't start messing around with the built-in software. Just use the factory settings and drop in the launch control Excel component over here. And you'll have eight presets. And the eight presets change the template of the hardware device over here. And these are all the templates starting from uh, channel nine onwards. So, you know, like I'm not super certain why I went this route because I built a component a while ago, but I did. And uh, now it just works, so that's good enough for me. Eight presets, and you change the presets by going as follows. You can see it updates over here, and you might be able to see that it also updates um, on the launch control here. And uh, vice versa, if I click, oh, well, I should probably have the session running here. All right, so now the session's running. So if I click, you'll see that the buttons update as well on the device as they do um, on the screen. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so the basic way you'll use it, it's similar to the Launchpad Pro component I have, which I also need to update. But you've got, if you go down to your session, here are your eight presets over here, so for different sort of controlling objects. And you've got these boxes where you can name stuff. And the quickest way to use these is to um, name your, to do like, your name your channel exports. So I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So here's like these two, um, drum sequencing components that I've built right over here. Let's get the volume up. Right. Okay, so maybe I want to control this parameter X. Or maybe fill one. Let's do let's do both on these sliders. So we'll go over here, preset zero, slider, and then go slash project one, which is where this component is, slash drum map which is the name of that component. Two dots, the parameter, X, right? And now we've set this one to export, and you can see that it's already mapped over here. And similarly, if we go here, I can do this to channel uh, fill one, right? And I can do the same thing for drum map X, but for drum map one, which is the other one here. And so on and so forth. And then if you want to control the animations, oh yeah, okay, let's do this. Um, so this is pretty important. Um, so by default, you can't do cool stuff like radio groups or anything using the software that Novation gives you. Um, but in Touch Designer, you can. So this is actually, you know, the meat of how you're going to use this component. It's not like super user friendly, but if you know Touch Signer, then it does what you want. So here are the buttons, and if you want to set a group, you do this toggle, uh, radio down, name your group first radio. And this should be a, yeah, okay, cool. So you see that on screen, and here it is as well on my component. So you can set radio groups that way. Um, if you want to start sequencing stuff, use the Touch Designer network interface and do that. Um, preferably, you know, using this. So this is already set up for you if you want to change the colors of your whole session. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to make it green. So now my default color is green, and my this is my on color, and my off color is red. Right? Or I want my off color to be off. Uh, oops. That's it. And the rest of the stuff you just get creative with. Um, yeah, I wouldn't touch the user factory buttons because they send a SISEX mes uh, message and they change the MIDI channels of your device. So there's, I don't know, I just skip them for now because the rest works pretty well. Same with like these buttons, you can make them radio or what have you. 
bam, 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 bam. And you can rename them and then uh, in Touch Designer, save your presets. And, uh, you know, it works. This obviously, the knobs aren't like bi directional in terms of their function, but it'll store the value. So if I say, like, uh, get all these knobs over here, you go to one, and then I go back to zero. It'll maintain the things. So this is going to be up on the forums. If you guys use it, that'll be super cool. Uh, if you improve on it, that's even more cool. And uh, if you enjoy it, just like leave a comment saying thanks. That's cool. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys who are using this stuff at the Touchliner Summit. That would be super rad. As far as I'm concerned, it's worth investing in one of these launch control excels, especially with this component. They're just one of the most flexible, like good quality hardware. MIDI controllers that I know of, and they're you know very easy to pack up in a sort of mobile gig. Um, so that's that's the rundown, right? Quick, all right, be good.